So it is already the 13th of the month. Not sure, but this might be my first video for the month. We did go camping the first week and then my husband and I celebrate our his birthday, our anniversary, and my birthday within four days of each other. So we have a busy couple of days. After a week off, I went back into work and I found this container on my desk. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says Time Cruisers. This is an old box. There's even an old TV sticker that was on it. And inside this box was a bunch of different Lego. There was all these older parts, which was pretty exciting. This older stump, which you don't see much of anymore. Some of the monkeys. I think there's two or three of these monkeys in there. One of the good horses, and it seems to be in really good shape. There was also a bunch of minifigures, the older minifigures. So I will be taking these into my husband. There was a couple of older manuals. Some of them are in pretty bad shape. There's even, I believe the Time Cruiser manual is in here as well. Yeah, there it is. And it's not in the best shape, but it's still sellable because I think we sold the ones that we had. I'm not sure if all the parts are there, so I'm not going to try to rebuild this because I think that there is too many parts that are missing, plus all of these here after a quick sort through are damaged. There's a lot of pry marks and scratches and fading. This one's even broke. So, and as is this one, there was a big chunk out of one of the sides right there. So these will go into the filler box. And there was also some non-Lego parts, as always. There always seems to be some, doesn't there? <laughs> so there was a Mega Block set. Not sure if that's a complete set either. There was some of the micro bricks in here as well. And some Mega Block. This will be most likely will be donated. And I did find out after asking a couple of people, I finally found out that this box of parts came from a coworker that was moving and she found it and brought it in to me. I did pay her for the lot because it's the least I could do because even though the blocks and parts might not sell, those minifigures will. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to make sure that she was well compensated which I try to do with friends and family so that they know how much I appreciate them keeping their eyes out for Lego parts for me. Yesterday afternoon, I spent some time organizing things out here in my shop. It was starting to get a little bit cluttered again. I got that done and then I continued on this file that I had started last month to upload and I did get over a thousand parts uploaded yesterday. One of them was $2. Again, we always like to see those, but my Lego count is only 107,000. So I have some work to do to get it back up to where it was. I started on another eBay auction box. And right now I'm a little discouraged because I'm beginning to think I got a Bricklinker's filler box there was a lot of parts that had scratches and nicks and abrasions and just not quite what I'm looking for for my store. A lot of them have like edges that are completely worn down and a lot of scratches, ink marks, things like that. This is all the stuff that's going in my filler box and I was sitting here last night staring at these, asking myself if I was being too picky. <laughs> But I just asked myself if those were parts that I would want to get if I was rebuilding a set. And the answer is no. I am going to keep these. These are about the only ones that I found that I think are sellable for my store. And I will just continue to go through these. I have them somewhat sorted out. I have the two buys sorted out right now and we'll work on those. And then I have a box of all the one by stuff still. So that's my plan. That's what I'm gonna work on this morning. I have about 20 to 30 minutes before I have to log into work. So I should be able to get through a few more of these and maybe get a few more of these into Brickstore. 
There were a couple of minifigs that came with this lot as well. So I'm hoping once my husband goes through those, we will see a little bit of a profit. Um, right now I'm not hopeful, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I found a little time this week to work on inventory. I was able to do an upload of 284 parts in 104 lots. That brought my total inventory up to 107,000 parts. The reason that there weren't that many parts in that upload is because I was working on this eBay win and there were a lot, a lot of parts that I ended up pulling out. I pulled out more parts than I put in like I said before, I'm not sure if I'm being extra picky or if these parts really are bad, but they're just not good enough to put in my store. I still have a couple of categories to put in and I will be working on these later. Today I want to finish up these hinge parts that I had started probably a month or more ago. I also have a short update video I want to put out on what's been going on and why I haven't been doing a lot of videos. So I'm going to work on that today as well. I don't really have anything planned for today, which is actually a good thing because starting Monday, it's going to be a very crazy week with work and some other stuff that's going on. Plus my husband and I are going to be busy next weekend with several different events. My hope today is to focus just on inventory. So as you can see, September was the worst month I've had this year. I'm really not sure why other than the fact we haven't put a whole lot into inventory. I don't know if it was just a slow month because families are more focused on school and such right now, but it's definitely something that's got me a little bit worried just because it is the worst month we've had all year and last month things were starting to pick up. So we'll see how things go this next month. I do have quite a bit going on, but I also have some time set aside just to focus on the business. So we'll see how things go.